Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. You can follow my personal social media at Adriana underscore sports. Enjoy. Hola, welcome to Hollywood. Thank you. Yes, uh, how are you feeling about facing Devin Haney? What do you expect on Saturday night? Devin Haney este sábado. Bueno, básicamente esperamos una, una pelea fuerte donde vamos a tener la rivalidad de ambas partes. He's expecting a, a great fight. He's got a great rival in front of him. Your, your last fight was, of course, against Javante Davis. You almost went the full 12 rounds. When you see what you went through with him and you watch tape on Devin, who do you think is a better fighter? ¿Cuál de los dos peleadores tú crees que sea, después de mirar el tape de Tejini, cuál peleador tú crees que sea mejor? Bueno, eso no depende de, <coughs> de quién sería mejor o no. Todo está en dependencia de lo que se pueda hacer arriba. It, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter, really matter who, who's the best fighter mm -hmm. or who's, who's the best fighter. It's whatever happens on top of that ring that, that matters. And Devin, you saw his last fight against Gervonta Davis. He fought the majority of it with an Achilles injury. What kind of fighter do you think he'll be on Saturday night? Um, I think he's the type of fighter that's going to bring his all every fight. Uh, he goes in there and he gives it his all, no matter you know if he's hurt or whatever the case may be. He he goes in there and he lays it out all out on the line. And you've been a fan of his for a long time. Talk about the first meeting you ever had with him and his coaching staff. Um, the first time I met Gamboa, I want to say I was about nine, ten years old. Uh, he was training at my gym, and uh, he, it was a late night training session. We kept the gym of my dad owned the gym, so we kept the gym open for. Uh, later so that he could train like alone or whatever and um that was the first time that that was when we took the legendary pick and um yeah and then his coach actually is he used to train me at the olympic training center with the olympic team for i want to say about a year or so and you didn't think that his coaching staff really respected your game that much correct i don't even think i don't even think that he remembers me <laughs> <laughs> did, did do you remember meeting him when he was a youngster like when the tower hoeing Sí, claro, 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 claro. Yes, yes, of course, of course. How good did you think he was going to be? Recuerdo eso fue en el gimnasio del padre de Jenny que me dio la oportunidad de de trabajar allá muy amablemente de su parte y y el campeón también me dio la oportunidad de tirarse una foto con nosotros. Claro sí. Of course, he remembers that. You know, he uh, he he worked on at his father's gym, uh, Mr. Haney. You know, he was very very uh, um, gracious for him to allow him to to work out there, and you know, and he was a great opportunity to 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 work out there that one long time ago. There's been some criticism that maybe you don't deserve a shot at the world title. What do you say to those that uh, don't believe you deserve to be here? Dice que hay muchos críticos que que creen que tú no te mereces un un chance al título este, pero qué tú le dices a esos críticos? No, los críticos tienen su opción. Eso no significa que 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 sea una realidad, porque si estoy aquí, la realidad es que estoy aquí. He said, what, whatever uh, whatever critics say, it really doesn't matter. What they say, it really doesn't matter. What it matters is that, that I'm here. He is probably the best fighter you faced in the ring. What do you have to do on Saturday to beat him? Um, I have uh, a lot of things that I have to do to go in there and win. Uh, but the main thing is to go in there and uh, dominate. I don't only want to win. I don't only want to, uh, you know, just get the win and, and, and coast. I want to go in there and I want to make a statement. This fight is, a, a, this will be a statement victory. I want to go in there and show him that I am the best fighter that he's ever been in there with. And I'm different from anyone he's been in there with. You mentioned that you want to show the world what you can do. You're, you're being labeled as part of the four horsemen now. You, Ryan Garcia, uh, Tank Davis, and uh, Lopez, Tiafimo Lopez. The first, the last two guys had outstanding performances in their last fight. Do you feel like you have to not only win, but knock him out to get these guys' attention and get you to the big fights you want? Well, honestly, I think that I got to go in there and look bad to get to, to, to get these guys in the ring with me because the better that I look, it seems like the, the more that they'll run. But, you know, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to, you know, like I said, put on a, a, put a, put on a, a statement performance, go in there and uh, get the job done and beat him worse than he's ever been beat before. He says he's going to beat you worse than you've ever been beaten before. How do you stop Devin Haney? Uh, dice, dice Devin Haney de que él te va a, a ganar de la forma que nunca te han ganado antes eh, mm -hmm. y que quiero poner una exclamación en la victoria de, de, de él. ¿Es ¿Qué tú piensas de eso? Bueno, yo realmente lo que diga Dani no me importa porque básicamente él puede decir lo que quiera. Yo sé que yo vengo bien preparado y que la última palabra de Rivera la tiene Dios, no Haney.
And he said, hey, he can say whatever, the, whatever he wants. He can make whatever declarations he, he wants. But once we're on top of the ring, the only one that's in charge there, it's God, and I'm here to fight. All right, finally, Devin, what's your message to all your fans watching around the world? What can they expect on Saturday? Tune in. Uh, Saturday night is going to be fireworks. Uh, Gamboa is a tough competitor. He comes to fight every single time. He does not lay down for anybody. I'm coming to, I'm coming to bring the pressure. I'm coming to bring the, the excitement. I can't wait. Tune in. November 7th is going gonna, gonna to be a hell of a night. Your, your final thoughts. This could be your last opportunity at a world title. We know you're 100% healthy now. What's your message to your fans and to Devin Haney? ¿Qué es lo que tú piensas de esto? Esto quizás sea la última oportunidad tuya para un título mundial. ¿Qué tú crees y qué le quieres decir a tus tu fanáticos de esta pelea? Bueno, yo creo que esto es una oportunidad que Dios, Dios, que, que Dios me ha dado. No, defini, no se ha definido si es la última oportunidad o no. Simplemente, si Dios me, me tiene aquí, en esta oportunidad, Él tiene la última palabra. No, Geni, ya dijo una vez más. Uh, God was the one that gave me the, this opportunity, and I'm here because of that. So in, the only one that has uh, uh, the, the last say of when my last opportunity is going to be is God, and I'm here to fight, and, uh, and God will have a saying that night. All right, as for the WBC lightweight championship of the world, gentlemen, one more time, if you could stare, stare down before we say goodbye. It happens, just leave your microphone there. It happens Saturday night from the Hard Rock Resort and Casino live in Hollywood, Florida. And make sure you join us tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern live on Matchroom Social for the official weigh-in. And then 8 o'clock Saturday live on DAZN for Fight Night. So long from Hollywood, Florida, Devin Haney, Eureka Scamboa, Saturday night for the WBC Lightweight Championship of the World. Yo, subscribe to Fino Boxing right now or else. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs>